Well, hello again, everyone. This is Jeff from New York City. How's everybody doing today? Happy Save $10 Tuesday. This recording is going to be broken up into two segments. Part one is going to talk about a challenge. Part two is going to talk about the method of which we can save $10 this Tuesday. Stick around. If you don't have enough time, pause the tape. You can always come back to it later. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll get into it in a minute. If you hear that funny cooing sound in the background, that is actually what is known as a morning dove, which kind of is cute in the middle of this city to hear a dove come to this air conditioner, stay outside of it for a few minutes every single day, and then come back to it later on in the afternoon. How cute is that? There he goes! <laughs> Hang on! Okay, so today we're going to jump right to it with the $10 Tuesdays Challenge. If you, let's say you have $50 that you allot for your grocery spending, okay? Put the $50 in your wallet or in your purse, but I want you to se separate the $10 from the $50, assuming you're going to use cash, separate the $10 from the $50, Put it in another section of your wallet or your purse, okay? Because here's the method. Try to work with the $40 remainder. Because if you do that successfully, you will have definitely saved an actual $10 bill. That is the objective today, to save that $10 bill. Are you up to that challenge? Okay. Then after we get into the food and grocery challenge, I will explain to you another challenge as well. This is going to be a challenging day. But I think most of us can handle it. What say you? Okay, now we're going to talk about method. Be right back. Okay, so I had this idea. Now my trusty notebook at hand. We are going to give our crock pots or slow cookers a little bit of a workout this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But first, I want to mention a specific video to check out. And it involves making a rotisserie chicken in your slow cooker. So, okay, and the specific name of this video, and it looks so cool, and the method looks so easy, you certainly may consider it. Why use a slow cooker now? Because it doesn't throw off heat in the kitchen. It's hot out these days. It's easier, and you will save money. Okay, so the name of the video is, quote, how to make a rotisserie chicken in your crock pot. Boy, it gets right to the point. How to make a rotisserie chicken in your crock pot. And the channel name is The Kitchen Magpie. I reviewed this video a number of times. It's short, it's sweet, it gets to the point, and it gets the job done. This is something you want. But why am I saying rotisserie chicken? I'll tell you why. Because you can make a lot of second chance meals out of it, and that's the key. If you make something where you could get more than one meal out of, that's a winner right there. Instant winner. You could get at least two meals. And I know a lot of you out there could probably stretch it out to three. Anyway, okay, so that's one idea. Okay, uh, next, I'd like you to consider, again, crock pocket crock potting it or slow cookering it, buy an inexpensive uh, chuck steak or beef and make a beautiful pot of beef stew. Now you might say, oh, but it's so hot out. Why would I want beef stew? Uh, when you think of the money you could save, all of a sudden a hot bowl of beef stew doesn't seem so bad. So buy an inexpensive cut of chuck steak or beef. You can either make a beautiful beef stew out of it on the one chance of it, or you could like cut it up and do like a pepper steak with it, or you could do that with a rice, uh, anything. Uh, here's my recommendation to beef stew. Make a big crock pot of it, and you can, you know, throw those uh, baby carrots in there, the ones that are already cleaned and done up. Throw that in. Make life easier. I don't care about canned potatoes. Throw that in, too. Drain that. Dump that in. Baby carrots, canned potatoes. Uh, drain out a little can of peas. Throw it in. Throw it in. Uh, so easy, so easy. Uh, uh, throw in some pearl onions, you know, from the freezer. How easy does that get? Seriously? Uh, right off the bat, you have at least two to three meals. So already we're talking like five meals. Seriously? Okay, here's my method with meatballs, okay? Now some people prefer to buy them, some people prefer to make them from scratch, but here's what you do with the meatballs. You're going to get a second chance meal out of it. Here we go again, stretching the budget for this $10 Tuesday savings. Make one night meatballs. Uh, you can make meatball subs. Put a little bit of your favorite uh, pasta sauce on top of it. And throw some shredded mozzarella on that, and you got yourself a meatball sub sandwich. That's night number one. A couple of nights later, take those same remaining meatballs, assuming you're going to save some, right? Okay? And just uh, boil up a pot of pasta or spaghetti. You've got spaghetti and meatballs. Right off the bat, that's two nights there. So see where this week is going in savings? And everything I mentioned is inexpensive. Aha! 
And uh, I like to do what they call a meatless Monday. A meatless Monday is definitely a perfect way to begin the week, make it easy. I like to do either a frittata or a breakfast or on a hot night. I can even just like have a bowl of cereal. I don't care. Something easy, fast, nutritious, and saves you money. So you could tell that you're going to go beyond saving $10 this Tuesday if you follow these methods. So make your slow cooker your friend. Uh, bo uh, boil up. Listen to me. Uh, make up. Big batches, stretch them during the week, you will be fine. Now, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about a separate challenge altogether. So, the second challenge option that you have, okay. Now, we updated you yesterday with a bonus updated uh, video about the change jar. As of April 20th, it was $17.52. As of July 15th, which was yesterday, it jumped up to $30.20, which was done blindly every day. Go to grocery store, whatever hand change I have left, dump it in, forget it, forget it, forget it. I like to keep pennies separate because pennies are a pain in the neck in my opinion. But uh, anyway, that's another story. That's another video. Okay. Okay, so that's for that. But here's another challenge to accelerate things. I started it and I mentioned it briefly about two weeks ago on a video. Try considering the $1 a day challenge, okay? That's taking a physical dollar... At each and every day, just forgetting about it and putting it to the side. I started on July 1st. Every few months, I start doing that uh, for a period of time. This time, I would like to do it every single day until October 1. Because I want to match the dollar challenge with the change jar challenge and see the end result. That should be very, very exciting. So uh, all of that, I would like to contribute towards my uh, personal Christmas club in my mind. Whatever goals you have, you have to have a goal. So have a goal, have a plan, because a goal without a plan is nothing more than a dream. But you could do this. And by saving $10 every single week at the grocery store, you have a jump start. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for viewing. The name of my channel is Jan from New York City Saves Money. And my name, I call myself Jan from New York City. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a returnee here, you rock. Thank you so much for coming back. Don't forget to comment below. Hand me your tips and tricks. How do you save money in a jar, a physical dollar, and what, like, methods do you use? We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And don't forget to come back next Tuesday for another Save $10 Tuesdays. Watch out for the finger.